Now, that's a sheet of ivory. Uh huh. Okay? And this is a sheet of ivory. Where the hell do you get a piece of ivory that size? I don't know. Okay. I guess in your case. Uh, seriously, how are you going to get a piece of ivory? How are you going to get a piece of ivory that large out of a tusk that's empty inside? I don't know. Okay, there is no large area you can cut out, right? This is how they do it. You look. We're going to look at the, the tusk from this end, okay? And it looks like this if you look at it, right? Uh huh. It's going to have a hole in it for the blood and marrow, uh -huh. okay? This is where it comes from. You can only get these large pieces from old growth elephants. Old world elephants? Old, go old growth. In old other words, growth elephants. Old elephants. So they and have they to be around 50, 60 years old. I don't old. know what life expectancy is, but That's about they're not around ours. because they've only, you can only find young elephants because they poach the ones for the large And tusks. so the, the younger elephants, uh, more of that they don't is... Get, it's, you know, they it's, don't get their tusks developed. They don't live long enough I see. to get mass, to get large ivory. So even at the widest part, they do it like this. And as they slice this progressively, they get progressively sure. smaller slices, okay? So it's extremely difficult to even find an ivory that flat. Now, the re why is that painted? Why do they paint? Why do they paint on ivory instead of on glass or ceramics or canvas or leather or wood? Why? Or vellum? Why? Why would they do an ivory? I bet you know. Okay. Because ivory does not absorb the paint material, it floats on top. So you can make fine lines and not. Oh, and they won't run, blur. Won't oh. run or blur. But there's a downsize to that. It won't penetrate. It doesn't penetrate, so it will instantly rub off if you touch it. So they put a lacquer over it? No, you can't do that. Well, what, how do they, what do they do to keep. Uh, Nothing. So you just always have to be careful? Exactly. If a drop of water gets in there, That's it, it will instantly, it actually, the color floats right up. You can see the color. So why don't they, up. why don't they lacquer it? They can't because lacquer turns yellow. Ah. Okay. But, okay. You know why they refinish wood? You know how they strip wood? You know why? Because the lacquer has turned dark. It's not the wood. Hmm. The older the wood is, the darker the color. Okay? Because the lacquer has darkened. The wood Not never the wood. changes color. Ah. If you cut that piece of wood this way, it'll be natural color. Blonde, you know, skin color. Okay? So lacquer. So if you were to cover that, number one, the spraying process is going to ruin the paint anyway. Ah. The lacquer. Anything you put over it is going to wash off its water paint. Now, on this one, am I blowing you? Nope. On this one, a Tiny little border seeped in and it instantly lifted it off. Instantly. In other words, if you, if you, now, they worked on these in sweatshops with no, probably daylight, no air conditioning, no electricity. If a piece of little spittle, you know, flew out of your mouth uh -huh. or a drop of water fell from your forehead a sweat, it would instantly ruin it. You can't, you can, oil paint you can touch up because you can put layers, okay, on watercolors. If you've got a, you cannot repair it. Hmm. Okay, a little water seeped in there. You see that? Uh -huh. It instantly lifted it off. Okay. Trying to find some of the damage on it, you know. Okay. You have to be very careful because like I say? A, lot the, a lot of the uh, the ivories are.